Great. All right, you can start with a few breaths up. And then if you're traveling, Betty, just use the best you got. I'll see what tools you have. Ooh, nice. Ah, just get some blood flow. Get some circulation. Get fuller breathing. Inhale, there's Michelle coming in. And even when you're doing this, you're even moving your hands and your fingers. So you're getting your wrist. Yes, yeah, that looks good, good Karen. You're even getting your wrist, your hands. Oh my goodness, that feels great. Now we are going to um, do a finger lock here. So reach your hands up towards the sky and over. And up and over. And up and over. So you're still pushing through your hands a little bit to wake them up. Through your elbows, through your sides. And over. Oh my goodness, that feels so good in the morning, doesn't it? And up. And then let your hands go. Now I've got, I'm just gonna move forward to get enough room. And you're just gonna let, let's take this off, let your arms sway like your clothes are on a clothesline and the wind is blowing. And five, four, three, two, and one perfect job and then we'll just wake up our wrist a little bit with a circle on the uh, wrist and it circles the other way oops and then we're going to rake up those ankles a little bit so go with your inhale to lift up your heels and two and three hi jean and we just warmed up a lot of part of the body and now we're waking up the ankles with calf raises and the hands and the shoulders, nice, and one. Now lift up your right leg and move that ankle into circles. Now this is a balance drill for the left leg, but it's also gonna wake up that ankle and then move your ankle in circles the other way. Now point and flex, point and flex, point and flex, and then lower that right foot down, lift up your left leg. You're gonna draw some circles with the ankle Go the other way. You got it, you're tall, and then you're gonna point and flex. And see if you notice a difference between legs balancing and between the ankles, and try to smooth it out. Nice job, lower down, grab your Dynaband or elastic tubing. Now, if you don't have that, grab weights, but we'll grab a Dynaband or elastic tubing. We're gonna start with that on our heels. One or two, two is harder or more tension. We're gonna soften the knees, make sure they're soft here. Your exhale can pull your hands up. Now, you could hold it hammer position or palm up supinated. You just wanna make sure it's comfortable for you depending on the device you're using. Good, you brought your down. Six, upper body, seven, eight, your chest and shoulders stay open. Now keep doing your arm muscles, but do increase the size of the breath. Let this be a chance to get big, full breath. Sometimes during the day we short, shallow breathe. Now we're going for five more, which will be 20. If you're getting tired and you need to rest, that's okay, but see if you can push it to be challenged at the final reps. Three, two, one. Really good. Now we're gonna let that go, so I've just released that. We're gonna take the band around the upper back, around the upper back shoulders. Oops. We're gonna press out the hands with your exhale, two, Three. And I, I like the way that you are conscious of the return. Five, and the press. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, see if you can sneak in five more for a bonus. 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I like it. Now let the arms go, but just take some circles. See how I'm just rolling those shoulder circles? Poor. All right. Now we're going to take the band up. You're going to pull the band wide. Exhale. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And even though your arms are going up, your shoulder blades are staying down. From the side, you notice your low back doesn't have any more curve than usual. So you have a little ab tone to keep the ribs pulled down a bit. 16, neck is soft. 17, big breath. 18, 19, 20. Really good. Now again, let the shoulders get some circulation, little circles. Mm -hmm. And then let's take, I'm gonna come in closer, but take your hand back, one hand's low. All right. And we're going to check the knees, check the ribs, push up. The knees have a slight softness down, two, Good, the jawline's parallel to the floor. This is a really important muscle. If you were to fall, this helps catch you. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, take it to the other. Hand low and push. Good. Knee soft. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, uh, we're going to grab a sip if you need it, and then we're going to take a couple stretches to release tension. Mm -hmm. When you're ready, your arms go behind. It feels so good. This is eight, nine, one more, ten. I like it. All right. Now we're going to step on the band, both heels. We're going to pull your elbows out wide with an exhale. Your palms are facing you. And if you don't feel enough tension, because you see how short the levers are, you just grab more band. Knees soft, four. Good. Elbows wide, uh, Jean. Take your elbows out. Yeah, there you go. Like that. Yeah. There you go. Good. The elbows are always going to be higher than the wrist. Good. Make sure there's no tension. Now, very similarly, we're going to let that side go. Move the band out a bit so you have a little more tail on that. Open with your exhale. Two to the side three, but your body stays tall, four, it doesn't lean away like it might be tempted, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-
seven, this hand helps me keep some tone in the abs so my ribs don't translate or my body doesn't shift over. Eleven, so I'm keeping some lumbopelvic stability here. Twelve, ribs over pelvis. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, other hand. Elbow, long, open. soft. Shoulders are so important. Strengthening one more. Now switch your hand, switch your foot, go to the front. Your heel is going to catch the band. Now even though your arm is forward, you're making sure you don't lean the body back. Check your wrist. It should feel good. Yeah. See, there you go. Knees are soft. And 15 is the number, and if you need to do a couple more, do a couple more. We're going to step on that other band. I'm oh, sorry, with the other heel, step on the band. Forward. Good. Neck is soft. I like it and then bring that back nice job now we're going to lower these down for a moment you can take a set of push-ups on the wall and um, or your uh, chair like something in the room your hands are on the wall your feet are further back and we're mixing it up we're going to bend the elbows and straighten and bend good and you're keeping that plank in the body so there's a little ab tone and for the further back you go the harder five Six shoulder blades are down the back. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now take an interlaced finger position when you're done. Open up those arms away from your shoulders. This is a shoulder stretch. You're making sure your head doesn't poke forward. Five, four, three. Oh, that feels so good. Two and one. Now let it sway. We're going to be taking a sip and then grabbing some hand weights that we can do a bicep curl to. So it would be at least five pounds, six, seven, eight. And then <clears throat> we'll grab those for hand weights. Betty, are you having, do you have? Okay, good. Great. <clears throat> I knew you were traveling. I just didn't know if you had your hand weights too, but you can bend both elbows and then lower. Do you have yours, Miss Jean? Two. Yeah. Three. Be soft. Five. These are carrying muscles. Six, seven, eight. Okay, up to five more if you can. That was 15, but if you can, do five more. 16. 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now we are going to lower those hand weights. Good. Take a little half moon where you rotate a little bit forward and back.
half moon the other side, rotate a little bit forward and back, and then come back up. Nice job. Take a heavier weight. We're going to do a tricep press behind us. So a heavier weight, but the option could be you take two smaller ones. So let's say you take one eight pound weight, for example, or you could take uh, one or two four pound weights, but that would be an example of pressing, yes, for triceps behind two, three, four, Neck is soft, 11, elbows lengthen, 12, 13. That a girl. Okay, see if you can take five more, 16, 17, 18, 19. Now bring it down, lower it. Good. Take that little tricep stretch. <laughs> there we go. And then lean. Good. Ah, love the stretch. Breathe. Take that other one. Hand to elbow. Tricep. Breathe and lean. Nice. Let it go. We'll shake it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now we are going to take those heavier weights and do an upright row. So whatever your heavier weights are, it could be a couple of fives in each hand, a couple of sixes, sevens. So um, the other trick is you just do more reps or you do fewer reps based on how the fatigue is for the final reps. Your elbows are out. Four. Good. Five. Yeah. Six. Eight, good. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right, five more. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Now leave those weights down, probably right about your hips. Lift up both heels. Lift up both heels. Yeah, long knees. And you're trying to control the descent. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Try five more. Eleven. Good. Well, this is really good for circulation too. 14, 15. And 15. Now we're going to let those down for a moment. And just take an interlaced finger position at the back. Pull the arms up. Five. Looks good, Karen. Yeah, flexibility looks good. Whew. Okay, this is going to be an overhead press. Smaller weights, uh, two, three, four, five maybe. Now, you can also do these seated if you need. I mean, yeah, seated. If you craving some more stability, your hands are here. Now, when you go up, your low back might be tempted to get more arch, but you're just going to keep your ribs pulling down gently to avoid that. Yes. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now up to five more. 16, good, 17, 18, 19, 
20. All right, lower them down and take a set of 10 calves. Oh, sorry, not all the way down, guys, just by your hips. <laughs> Lift up and down, heels. Two, three, four, five, six. Good. Eight knee soft. Nine. And 10. Now, without. Um, without moving your arms too much, just your shoulders go around. You're just getting some blood flow. Open up the feet a little bit and then open up the arms to T. Those knees are soft. You have a little um, pliancy in your legs. Four, five, six, seven, Eight shoulders, nine, ten, keep going, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, up to five more, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. All right, third set, lift up your heels. Up and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now open up the legs a little bit and you can take it's almost like you have a suitcase in each hand. Heels are heavy, chest is up, strong. Knee alignment with your second toe. In other words, the knees aren't collapsing. And let me go to where your body feels safe. Good. You will feel the heart rate get up a little bit. All right, we're gonna let these down and we're gonna take a step. So grab a sip or more. We're gonna shoot for eight ounces during a class, eight to 12 ounces. <coughs> let me grab more water. Okay. <coughs> and then Take your heavier weights, we're going to do a bent over row, your heavier weights, so at least a five more if you have it, and it's going to be hinged like your back is a table. Imagine you're starting a lawnmower and you have to pull the string up, so hinge a little bit at your hips. Yep, there you go. Yeah, and it's like you're starting a lawnmower. Good, Karen, that's it. Exhale as you pull. Exhale as you pull. Good. And so you don't have to be absolutely flat to the floor. It's just that you want a long line from your ear, shoulder, rib, hip. Yeah, so you can be in a high diagonal. Good, good uh, legs, Karen, good back. Really good. Good, and you're kind of sticking your sit bone up a little bit. Yeah, it's okay, yeah. Three, two, all right, carefully lower those weights down to the floor. Mm -hmm. Now we'll just stretch it out with an up and over, half moon. Good, and we're not doing a long aggressive stretch, we're just getting some blood flow and releasing tension. Breathe into the side, you're stretching up and over. Three, two, inhale, and exhale. Really good job. We're going to head to the floor. Have your um, props handy. So start with your tubing or your elastic band. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now we're going to start with the seated position that lets you put a band or two around your feet. A band or two around your feet. Crop around your arch, your right, your heels. Cross the band like an X. Cross the band like an X. Yep, thanks Karen, I can now, yeah. I want to be able to see you, yes. Bend your elbows and pull your elbows past your ribs. I like a slight palm up position, a supination, but you might prefer the thumbs more up. Just try to find what feels good on your wrist. Now notice that you are sitting tall. If that is hard, you can put a pillow or a yoga block underneath your tush or slightly bend the knees. So your exhale, so that your spine can stay tall. Um, that looks really good, Jean. Exhale. You're going to feel your biceps here too. That's just fine. And your rear shoulder. These are bigger muscle groups. Notice your neck is easy. And now we're gonna, if you, uh, everybody had one bend right, you can take out one if you have more. You're gonna still leave it crossed like an X. Put your elbows beside your ribs. You got it. Open your forearms. That's extra rotation. Yeah. Four, so good for shoulder health. Five, six, yep. Glue those elbows, good jeans, six, good Betty, seven, eight, <clears throat> nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. All right, take just a little release. We're not done, we're just getting some release. Open up your arms now. It's kind of like you're hugging a tree backwards. One, two, three, four. Good. And then grab your band, uh, Jean, and open up your arms with the band so that your rear shoulder, yep, feet have strap. You got it. Yep. Open up a little bit like there's a tree you're hugging backwards. We're really focusing on those back muscles since they get pulled and stretched forward in life. Now take that and just let, this is to release uh, tension. Inner thigh stretch. If you feel like you're rounding backwards, just put your feet more ahead of you and relax. Now take another inhale, <clears throat> come back up, lengthen your legs. Now just, it's almost like you're just barely trying to miss your knuckle skin over the floor. It's like you're a V and you pull. Your arms are a V, mm -hmm. an upside down V and you pull. You're tall and your arms are wide enough that you don't run into the floor, but just barely, just barely. This is a good chance you can spread out your toes as well. Yeah, there you go. Give them some space. I've got my correct toes on and socks on, but you're spreading out your toes. Exhale, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Let that go. Really good. And then get your, um, grab a sip, but then we're going to get our hand weights and do some chest presses with our back on the mat. So grab a sip if you need it, grab your weights, your hand weights. Your feet are gonna be on the floor. Your arms are gonna be like a, a 90 degree angle in the elbow, a feel the pulse, press up, tap the ends, they're kissing and then you lower. Exhale, press, tap. Exhale, press, 
tap. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Good. Ribs are touching the floor. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Now, take a full body stretch, reach your arms overhead, stretch through your feet, stretch through your arms. We're going to take another set of the flies so your feet get back on the floor. You can take your hand weights and you're going to go touch both ends, open and exhale, touch. Inhale, open. Good, Jean. And your hand weights don't touch the floor. Yep, good. Your upper arm might touch it, but your hand weights don't go uh, towards the floor. You don't want your elbows to be bending backwards. And exhale. It's like there's a tree in front of you. You're hugging. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, keep the ribs down, five, four, three, two, one. Release, take a full body stretch. You can wiggle your fingers as well. Wiggle your toes, five, four, three, Two, good, inhale. Now find a relatively small weight. It, it's gonna be under five pounds. So five or under, it's not a big weight. This is external rotation. So for example, I'm using a five, but no more than five, I'd say. Pull your arm underneath like a pillow. Take the hand weight, the small hand weight, glue the elbow and open up. External rotation, yep. That's it, Karen. The arm underneath your head is so that your neck feels neutral. Your elbow is glued. Your wrist is straight. So if you take a look, it's straight. It's not bending backwards when you lift your arm. Your body stays steady. Five more. We're just, uh, these are small muscles to help support your body, support your shoulder. Two more. Now we're going to switch the body and the arm that is your pillow and the working arm. You're going to take your hand weight and just check your wrist. It's neutral. You leave it neutral or straight even when you lift your forearm. Your elbow stays glued. Good. Mm -hmm. Six. Good. I like how you're not letting the wrist Bend back at it when you're up. Seven, eight. All right. Now, take a full body stretch. Reach long. And we're going to come up, if you need to sit, grab it. We're going to do a little bit for the back. And this is for the posture muscles. We're going to take your arms on that roller. Grab a sip if you need. I've got pickle, uh, prickly pear juice today in my water. We picked them from the desert. <clears throat> Pureed them. Okay, take the arms, kind of like a V here, we're going to go 
Yeah, we're gonna go up with your inhale. Really good, buddy, and then lower. These can be done without a roller as well. All right, that looks good, Jean. You might put the roller closer to your elbow, of uh, your hands, so you have more room to go up. <clears throat> good, and just do what feels safe, Michelle. That looks good, your belly's pulling in. Oh yeah, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, hold it up, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Lower, we're gonna do two more sets of 10. Come up, 10, seven, four, and lower, and then another set. 10, four, and lower. Okay, any kind of child's pose you need, I'm gonna take one where the toes curl under, if you'd like to. Betty, that might be nice since you're walking on the beach. Curl your toes under and the arms are on the foam roller. Low back releases, decompresses. All right, now we're going to do some abdominals. So the foam roller is on the other end of our body. Now the Forearms are on the mat. I just have to move some of the weights and the bands here because we're going to be doing basically a plank with the forearms on the mat, the toes towards each other, but the shin muscle on the foam roller, bend the knees under and then straighten, bend the knees under and then straighten, bend the knees under and then straighten, bend the knees under and straighten. Bend the knees under and straighten. Three, two, one, and recover for a moment. That was really good. We're gonna be doing more of a pike this time where your legs stay long. So your elbows are on the mat, your forearms are on the mat, lengthen your knees. Now lift your hips, I have to adjust my roller, but lift your hips and then come back to plank. Lift, you're almost scooping out your abs like an ice cream scoops down your belly. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Recover. This time we're gonna take the knees like an inchworm go into our left elbow and then plank and then our knees go to the right elbow like an inchworm diagonal. So let your forearms be on the mat, lengthen your knees, now bend them and head towards the left elbow, now plank, now towards the right elbow, plank, bend, straighten, bend, neck is soft. All right, four more, four, Three, two, one, and recover. We're gonna lift the hips up to a diagonal corner now, and then plank in a diagonal corner now. So it's like an oblique pike. Okay, lift up your hips, go into a plank. Lift up your hips towards that corner, go to a plank. Lift the hips towards a corner. Lift the hips towards the corner. Up, knees are long. Up, you got it. Four, three, two, and one. And then rest. Nice job. Great job. And then we're going to hit the back. Uh, with the feet on the foam roller just for a moment just to hit 10 of these bridges. Bridges are one of those exercises you can do every day to make sure the glutes are firing well for a healthy back. 
So place the feet on the foam roller. The option is a modification is to have the feet on the floor. Either one will help your glutes. If you're not sure if they're firing, because you don't want your back to take over, touch your glutes. Make sure they're both firing. Two. We're just going to touch that area. Three. Articulate your spine. Four. Five. Six. Good. Seven. Eight. Your pubic bone might be able to come more towards your navel as you come up, Karen. It might be able to. Yeah, right there. Yep, articulate. There's a little tight spot in your low back, it looks like. There you go. Curl, or even just thinking about it. Stay up if you'd like for a count of 10. Yeah, do it without the roller if you need to. Great, 10. Pubic bone pulls towards your navel a little bit. Yeah, see if you can feel the abs there helping. Four. Now the glutes should both be on. Everyone should feel their glutes, but not their back too hurt hard. Like the back shouldn't be taking over. Lower, and then we're gonna hug the legs in. It's a great chance just to move your ankles as well. Take that foam roller, and speaking of posture, we're gonna roll out the upper back. So I'm gonna just grab a sip, grab a sip if you can. Eight ounces at least by the end of the class, huh? Mm. Roll out the upper back with your foam roller underneath it horizontally. So you lift the hips. Your hands are gonna help your neck roll by pushing your feet into the mat. Now you can do a little bit of a back bend, and Michelle, I think this might feel really good because usually there, if there's one part of the back that's feeling tight, the other part can get benefit from this. Oh, so upper back. You can do a back bend, you could do flexion, you could deviate more on the right side, you could deviate more on the left side, All right, keep rolling. Five, four, three, two, and then one, and then come up. Now we're going to take a side leg stretch. Your elbow can be on the mat and then roll out the from the hip basically towards the knee, but don't roll out the knee. But it will help the knee and the hip, but you don't roll out the knee. So this foot can help good, put some, uh, lessen some intensity. Good. Yeah, you got it. The bottom foot's off the floor, but the top foot is helping you get some weight off if you need. Now, if you rotate down a little bit, you're going to feel that quad. And if you rotate up a little bit, you're going to feel more hamstring on the back side, that lateral hamstring. closest thing I know to giving yourself a massage. Four, three, two, and on the one, switch it so that your other side leg IT is on there. All right, here we go. Roll out, hip towards the knee, hip towards the knee. Go ahead, back of your hamstring, side of your leg, front, outer thigh, quad. And Betty, I think this will help your knees. Keep breathing and 
this scan, is anything else getting tense or can you let the tension go? Shall we roll out the flute? Take your ankle on your thigh, roll out that hip. job. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, other side. So we're going to take the ankle. Feel that hip to sacrum. and one. Now we're going to roll out some quads and that should also help your knee be so let your elbows, I have to move my mat, you see how it's reached forward, but let your forearms be on the mat. Let your foam roller be on your quads. <clears throat> now to, uh, just go back and forth with your elbows supporting you. You notice it's like a little plank, you're going to make sure you're not drooping in the um, low back. Um, and Michelle, you might lift your ribs a little bit. Now, if you bend your knees, it's more intense. So if it's too intense, go back to long legs. You can also bend and straighten. Toes towards each other. We'll get your outer quad a little. Toes away, we'll get your inner quad. You can also deviate left and deviate right. Four, three, two, and one. And now take a little um, lat roll. This is really good for your shoulder health posture. So it's almost like you're trying to roll out the back side of your armpit.
three, two, Back side of that shoulder blade too, right? Where all the attachments are. Let's go to that other one. Ah, grab and sit, see what you need. Okay. Good girl, good Jean. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going to use this thing for posture. We're going to line our back vertically and Take your sacrum on one end and take your upper back on the other, your head, and, and try to be like a Y in your arms or a field goal post. This is going to open your chest and shoulders. <sighs> now, relax the chest and shoulders as much as you can here. Just relax. Now, whenever you're ready, start to waken the fingers and the toes and start to make your way towards the seated position. And I want you to just feel the breath now. We did strengthening and some stretching and some releasing of fascia. So now notice where the breath goes. And let the breath explore all the new places that we opened up. So each cell gets new life. And today is a new day. Today is a new day to be a better version of me. Today is a new day to be kinder and more patient and to see all the appreciations within and around me. So whenever you're ready, let your eyes open and come back into the room. And with so much pleasure, thank you guys so much. You did fabulous. You did great. I'm so glad to see you. Thank you so much. I will see you tomorrow, I hope. Bye.